Good morning. Thank you for coming out this morning to help us celebrate National Wear Red Day. Woo! My name is Michael Fiske and I'm a cardiologist at St. Joe's Hospital. I'm also the president of the local advisory board for the Syracuse American Heart Association chapter. And I'm proud to be affiliated with both organizations because I really think we're making a strong impact on cardiovascular health in this community. National Wear Red Day is all about raising awareness to women's number one killer, which is heart disease, and what you can do to modify those risk factors and be aware of the various signs and symptoms of a heart attack. The signs and symptoms for some women are atypical chest discomfort, but for many women it's chest pressure, chest tightness, discomfort radiating to the neck or shoulders, the left arm between the shoulder blades, nausea, vomiting, severe sweating, discomfort that wakes you up at night. These are the things that if you experience or someone you know experiences, you should call 911 right away. It's also important to know the various risk factors. The American Heart Association wants to raise awareness that it's important to know your numbers, those numbers being your blood pressure, your cholesterol, your fasting glucose, your BMI or your waist waistline. These are things that if you don't know them, you can talk to your primary care physician or, or your cardiologist and they can help you become aware of these numbers. And knowing these risk factors and modifying them can improve your heart health and help fight against the stroke and heart attack. And so in conclusion, thank you for coming out here today. Thank you to the city of Syracuse and, and the Clinton Square Ice Rink for hosting us. And I would now like to introduce the former Go Red for Women chairman, chairwoman and messenger. This gentleman took a look into my heart a few years back. He's very, very special to me. Thanks, Dr. Fiske. It's great to see so much red. I love it. Every single piece of red clothing we see today, or every single red light we see around the city tonight, reminds us what this national Wear Red Day is all about. We're all raising our voices and our scarves and our hats together to fight against women's number one killer, heart disease. You know, a few years back, I was, personally, I was very surprised by this simple, terrible truth that heart disease is our number one killer. I had no idea that heart disease kills one in three women. That's more than all forms of cancer combined. That is why today I am involved with this Bow Red movement in the American Heart Association. It's for my 70-something year old friend, retired attorney, who, as Michael said, was feeling, I don't know, a month or two ago, this weirdness, sort of pain in her left arm and her sister-in-law was smart enough to say, now, Kathy, you got to go to the hospital. And a few days later, she was flat on her back, recovering from heart surgery. It is for my 50-something, deep down, personal electrical engineering friend, who a couple of years ago was at the Go Reds, um, big, we have a big whoop luncheon in October. Went to one of our booths, got her um, put on one of those blood pressure cuffs, found out her blood pressure reading was 200 something over 100 something. That night she was, thanks to her on the spot um, doctor, was on blood pressure medicine. It's for my 30 some year old daughter who last week found out that she was in a similar situation with Glenn with her blood pressure and went immediately to the doctor because, oh mom, you've always been saying that. Because of events like today's National Red, Wear Red Day and the Go Red for Women movement, women are learning and we've had some triumphs. This Go Red movement started about 15 years ago. Since that time, 293 fewer women die every single day from heart disease and stroke. That is a triumph, but we're far from done. Think of the number 80. 
I've got good news, I've got bad news. The bad news is that cardiovascular diseases kill still one woman every 80 seconds. The good news, the good news about 80 is that 80% 80 of heart disease is preventable by simple things like better diet, more exercise, and quitting smoking. So whenever you see red today, remind yourself as if you needed to be reminded, you all in this audience, that heart disease is women's number one killer. And if you find somebody who doesn't know that already, tell her. Thanks, and now it's my honor to turn things over to Mayor Stephanie Miner. Thank you, Anne. Thank you, Anne. Thank you, Dr. Fiske. I want to thank all of you for being out here on this beautiful Syracuse February day. Um, we are thrilled to be here uh, to once again add our voices and our action to bring awareness to what is really, uh, just until very recently, kind of a silent killer. Uh, I say just until recently because when uh, the women of Central New York decided to put their actions and their voices behind this awareness campaign, things really began to change. So I want to take a moment to thank Anne and all of the rest of the committee and everybody else uh, who goes, wears all those red dresses and uh, sends out mailings and makes sure that people are aware uh, that heart disease is such a huge issue for women in our community and across our country. Uh, it has been my pleasure, uh, as one of my awesome powers that I have as mayor, I get to declare certain days. And I have declared uh, the third day of February 2017 to be Wear Red Day in the city of Syracuse. <laughs> Once again, as a way to build awareness and a reminder. Now, towards that, uh, Anne, men Anne mentioned some of the key things that everybody can do. Uh, you can stop smoking, uh, you can exercise more, uh, and you can watch your diet. Uh, we are here to say that one of the things that we have done is in terms of exercise, that today anyone who wears red will have a dollar off their admission to come and skate in our beautiful Clinton Square. And you will notice that uh, there are red hearts along the ice to another way to build awareness uh, for this campaign. Uh, we do this as a way to encourage people to get outside, uh, bundle up, uh, exercise, be a community, and tell the women in your lives that you care about them and you care about their health and make sure that they know uh, what their factors are and that they are making decisions consistent with a healthy lifestyle. Uh, and so uh, we're just pleased to be here and welcome everybody and thank the, thank everybody for wearing red. To have a, look at that, the sun comes out in February in Syracuse as, as we say that. So uh, again, I want to thank all of you for being here, particularly the sun, and uh, wish you all a very happy Wear Red Day and encourage everybody to cut out, wear some red, get some exercise, come to Clinton Square and uh, ice skate if you'd like. Thank you.